Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve two-step equations. We'll go through four examples together, and then I'll give you four practice problems to try on your own. Now, when we solve two-step equations, we want to isolate the variable, just like when we solve one-step equations. So we want to get the variable by itself. And we do that by using inverse operations, opposite operations. Basically, we want to use inverse operations to undo the operations on the side of the equation with the variable. And this will isolate the variable. And remember, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. We have to keep everything balanced and equivalent. Let's jump into our examples and see what this looks like. Starting with number one, where we have 3x plus 10 equals 28. So we need to solve this equation. We need to figure out what x equals. So three times what plus 10 equals 28. Let's isolate that variable of x. So we need to undo the operations on the side of the equation with that variable x. And we're going to go in the reverse order of operations, so to speak, in order to do that. We have multiplication and addition. So reverse order of operations here, we need to undo the addition first. What's the inverse, the opposite of addition? Well, subtraction. So let's subtract 10 from the left side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So subtract 10 from the right side as well. Now on the left side of the equation, we are adding 10 and subtracting 10. So these 10s cancel each other out. So we are left with 3x equals, and then on the right side of the equation, we have 28 minus 10, which gives us 18. So now we have 3x equals 18. We are multiplying x by 3, so we need to undo that. We need the inverse operation here in order to isolate x. The inverse operation of multiplication is division, so let's divide the left side of the equation by 3. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other, so divide the right side by 3 as well. On the left side of the equation, we are multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3. So these 3s cancel each other out. Now our variable, x, is isolated. So we have x equals, and then on the right side of the equation, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So x equals 6, and that's our solution. Now, one last thing we can do, we can always check to see if we are correct. And we do that by plugging in what we got and seeing if it works. So for example, let's plug in six for X and see if it works. So we can come to the side here, three times six plus 10 equals 28. So we need to multiply first. 3 times 6 is 18, so we have 18 plus 10. 18 plus 10 is 28, so we are correct. X equals 6. Let's move on to number 2, where we have 9y minus 12 equals 15. So 9 times what minus 12 equals 15? we need to isolate that variable of y. We need to undo the operations on that side of the equation. We have multiplication and subtraction. So we need to go in the reverse order of operations in order to undo everything here. We need to undo the subtraction first. So what's the inverse operation of subtraction? Well, addition. So let's add 12 to the left side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So add 12 to the right side as well. On the left side, we are subtracting 12 and adding 12. So these 12s 
cancel each other out. So we have 9y equals, and then on the right side of the equation, 15 plus 12 gives us 27. So now we have 9y equals 27. So we're multiplying y by 9, and we need to undo that multiplication by using the inverse operation. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Well, division. So let's divide the left side by 9. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 9 as well. On the left side, we are multiplying by 9 and dividing by 9. So these 9s cancel each other out, and our variable y is now isolated. So we have y equals, and then on the right side of the equation, we have 27 divided by 9, which gives us 3. So y equals 3, and that's our solution. Now let's plug it in and see if we are correct. So plug in 3 for y. So 9 times 3 minus 12 equals 15. So we start with multiplication. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus 12 is 15. So we are correct. y equals 3. Let's move on to numbers 3 and 4. So here are numbers 3 and 4. Let's jump into number 3, where we have d divided by 8 plus 32 equals 41. So we need to isolate that variable of d using inverse operations, and we need to go in the reverse order of operations. We need to undo the addition first. So what's the inverse operation of addition? Well, subtraction. So let's subtract 32 from the left side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract 32 from the right side as well. Now on the left side of the equation, we are adding 32 and subtracting 32. So these 32s cancel each other out. So we have D divided by eight equals, and then on the right side of the equation, we have 41 minus 32, that gives us nine. So we have D divided by eight equals nine. So let's continue to look to isolate that variable of D. So D is being divided by eight. What's the inverse operation, the opposite of division? Well, multiplication. So let's multiply the left side by eight. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So multiply the right side by eight as well. Now on the left side, we are dividing by eight and multiplying by eight. These eights cancel each other out. So D is now isolated. D equals, and then on the right side, nine times eight gives us 72. So D equals 72. That's our solution. And let's check that by plugging 72 in for D. So we have 72 divided by eight plus 32 equals 41. 72 divided by eight is nine. So we have nine plus 32, and that gives us 41. So we are correct, D equals 72. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have two equals h divided by five minus nine. Now for number four, the variable is on the right side of the equation. So a little bit of a different look here, but we use the same exact process. So this doesn't change anything. So we need to isolate that variable of h. So h is being divided by five, and then we are subtracting nine. So let's undo that subtraction first. What's the inverse operation of subtraction? Well, addition. So let's add nine to the right side of the equation. That means we need to add nine to the left side as well. Now on the right side of the equation, we are subtracting nine and adding nine. 
So those nines cancel each other out. So we have H divided by five equals, and then on the left side, two plus nine gives us 11. So H divided by five equals 11. So we are dividing H by five. What's the inverse operation of division? Well, multiplication. So let's multiply the right side by five. That means we need to multiply the left side by five as well. Now on the right side of the equation, we are dividing by five and multiplying by five. So these fives cancel each other out and H is now isolated. So we have H equals, and then on the left side of the equation, five times 11 gives us 55. So H equals 55. So that's our solution. And let's check it by plugging 55 in for H. So two equals 55 divided by five minus nine. 55 divided by five is 11, and 11 minus nine is two, so we are correct. H equals 55. So there are all of our example problems. Let's move on to some practice problems that you can try on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. I'll give you five minutes, and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to press pause if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was five minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, x equals 13. For number two, w equals 48. For number three, x equals 63. And then lastly, for number four, m equals two. Feel free to pause at this point if you need more time to check your work. So there you have it. There's how to solve two-step equations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.